Hi guys! A lot of people ask me how I stay on schedule. That's a big thing because I do a lot of things, especially just like you. I use a specific app for that. Now, it's not just any kind of app. It's available in iOS and Android, but this app shows planetary schedule. So it's not just a regular scheduler. It aligns you. All right, Gemini, so let's start your reading. How are you? Before we start, let me explain um, what we're doing. We're doing the bi-weeklies, and um, there's going to be two readings. This is the extended one. X is extended two. So if you do not resonate with this one, that might be your reading next to this. Now, let me give you guys a point uh, for uh, a few points to remember. Sometimes a reading that, that does not resonate is more important than if it's resonating because it means it's just about to happen. So it's still important to listen to a reading because normally when we already know what's going on, it's too late, meaning it goes to the extended because that's the part where it hasn't happened. That's one of the keys to watching a reading. It doesn't mean it does not resonate. It's not your life because it will be your life. Okay. So let's begin here with a Gemini. Ooh, spicy potato. So let's see where this is going. Your side first and then their side. Make sure you watch the divine timing and also the soul to soul. Now, those connections are for people who are deep into a contract of their whoever they're dealing with meaning soul soul contract and because sometimes here when i read i'm just gonna go deep but sometimes it's really just dating because you know that's how i feel here and maybe it's just someone who just you met for two three months even a year but it's not really a person that you connect with um soul to soul and that's why i did the divine timing it's for a few people so a lot of people will watch this because this is more of a surface one and that one is for a few select. So check the divine timing and the soul to soul. If you feel like you are connecting with someone who has a deep soul connection with you. Now let's begin here. Okay, your side first. You have the two of wands. Oh, and the three of swords. Madre de Dios. Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. The Emperor and the Hermit. The Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands. You are getting rough. Ace of Wands and the King of Swords. Mm -hmm. Let's go on their side. Let's see. Their side. They got the Empress and the Justice. You got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay. Eight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords and the Death Card. Oh my golly. Okay. So right off the bat, we're connecting with an Aries or a Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarian. Scorpio, Taurus or Libra, there's two Libras here, those are what I can see for now, okay, so let's start here with your side, you guys can always flip this and reverse it, so that's up to you, whoever is watching this, two of wands with the three of swords, you're a victim of, um, there's an ongoing battle between you and this person. May it be with words, may it be with their action. Um, but it looks like, how to say this? You guys didn't find the middle ground. Mm -hmm. There was arguments, you see that? That's the argument. You did this to me, I did this to you. Um, what the direction of the relationship, you know, where it's going one left basically heartbroken three of swords someone got the the one up the you know someone had a a trump card let's call it that way both of you were fighting equal someone played dirty 
Mm-hmm. Meaning, you know, it's like if you're just telling the truth and they're telling the truth, that's fine. But someone here went, you know, went low. Oh, you, they went there where nobody has gone. This is about them just trying to hurt you, which they successfully managed to do. That's the three of swords. So, heartache. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a person here also. Um, again, it can be them or it can be you um, who was heartbroken. But both of you, um, basically nobody came out as a winner because it was rough. Now... There's the Empress and the Justice card here. Now, if the Three of Swords was not there, then they should have been fine. But now, it smells like there's a mistress. Because Justice with the Empress, that's third party. Okay. I can tell you, like, oh, third party can be anything. Um, work, other people. But here, it's really looking at there was another person who was involved in the connection. Because justice can be marriage or partnership that has a structure that is like um, official. But with the Empress card, it looks like... Mm -hmm, it looks like they... You were trying to make them pick or choose them or me. They choose the other person. You also didn't see that coming. You also didn't see that this person can betray you. Okay, so they chose someone else. Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. This looks like you're taking everything with you, so you're not going to lose, meaning... I'll salvage whatever I can in this relationship or for yourself alone. And the Knight of Cups, don't call me. I feel like that's still you. You're giving them the boot where it's like, you chose that person. You chose to lie. You chose to betray me. You chose to hurt me. Um, don't ever call me. I feel like this is you yelling at them. It's like, don't ever call me. Or, you know, you, you could have messaged them, texted them. It's like, don't ever call me. Now... King of Cups with the King of Pentacles. Now they feel the loss. They chose someone else. They chose whoever that Empress is. And even though that they 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 got the Empress, now they feel like, okay, what just happened? Mm -hmm. So they feel like they're in the losing end. They didn't, they're not basically claiming victory here. They lost everything as you left. Hmm. And mind you, this is like someone is trying to have their cake and eat it. So that's why. Look at this. Was there the Empress there? Emperor and the Hermit here. It appears that okay. you're better off not with them because you're about to be with someone new. Hermit is you. You're going to heal. Emperor is someone who can commit to you. You were connecting with a king, I feel. So it doesn't matter about their gender. But they cannot give the best relationship. They could be with an empress right now, but they're going to be slaving themselves to that empress. Um, but here, hermit, you lose everything, but you're going to gain a new connection. The emperor is with this combination also is a self-made. Normally, this is an entrepreneur, a person who does their own thing uh, business-wise supervisor you know it's like someone who can stand on their own mm -hmm. so this is what i'm feeling you lost everything to gain everything okay now on their end nine of pentacles with the eight of cups um they're gonna stand their ground you took the ten of pentacles with you okay you're the ten they're the nine Eight of Cups is them analyzing how are they feeling about this right now. You walking away, how does it make them feel? Are they fine? Are they good? You know, that's what, they're, that's what this person is having. They're trying to figure that out. Okay. Now, Ace of Swords with the Five of Wands. 
Remember how you told this person, like, don't talk to me, don't call me. Um, that's established. You put yourself in a gated community, basically. You guarded yourself with a lot of wands over there, restrictions, and you cut them off. You cut your losses here, for sure. Like, you were angry that fire behind its swords, it was a very flavorful um, message that you just told them. So this is you called them out. Now, Queen of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. I feel like whoever they're with, that third party knows about you. Mm-hmm. That person creeps on you. You understand me? You got involved with someone who is another who has another person, which is an empress. That can be a baby mama or whatever. They know about you. Mm, a baby dad or whatever. That's why you're blocking this person off. Ace of Wands with the King of Swords. Um, this is you as an air sign. I feel like since you have the Ace of the King, you're finally telling yourself that you know you never thought that you, you will cut them off or you will do this. You're basically saying it's like, finally I managed to really get rid of this person. Here it comes. Eight of Swords with a Death card. This person right now knows that you have some fears and doubts still, but you manage to cut them off. The death is they didn't see that you will do it. You know how you tell someone's like, I'm going to break up with you. I'm, and then it's like, all right, all right. And then literally you pulled the, the, trig the trigger here. You cut them off. You cut your losses. And I'm more interested with this emperor because that person is just about to come towards you. Okay. So that's what I can see here for the Gemini. The link for the extended is down there. So if you want to uh, follow me there, um, we're going to look at the different scenarios here. More of the situation, the if, what, maybe things that you could be thinking of right now. What are the answers to those? I'll channel it there. And next to this is the extended too. So make sure you stay tuned for that one also. And I feel like... Um, that's it. So thank you very much, Gemini, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your May 1 to 15 is your bi-weeklies. The webinar is in May 4 for Venus. We have moved it, okay? The link down there. So if you have anything that you are in question of with regards to love, relationship, and all the goodness, or oh my goodness, okay? So it's either or. <laughs> we can address it there. So I'll see you in the class, okay? Link down there. Here we go. Let's begin for my Gemini. Okay. Let's see here. May 1 to 15. Let's see. May 1 to 15. Let's see. Got eight of swords. Okay. Not looking at it or don't want to look at it right now. Okay. I feel like this can be a message that you don't want to open. Okay, because my eyes, if my eyes are closed, and <laughs> so you didn't mark them as uh, as red. You literally is like, I'm not gonna go open the inbox. Uh -uh. Now, they texted, they messaged, or you, they did this to you. Okay, I know which one is worse: marking it as unread, uh, marking it as red, or you literally just looking at it. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Okay, it's not about a doubt. It's more of like you don't want to deal. Okay. So if you're in a casino, you're surrender, you're folding. There's no deal, okay? okay. I don't know why my mode is in Vegas right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Other person. Let's see here. Ooh! What about that? Que horror! Seven of swords? What's happening here? I feel it's not about cheating, though. Seven wants to come back and you don't want them to come back. Because look at the Eight of Swords, it's ignoring the Seven of Swords. Someone is returning to the scene of the crime. Now, they could have lied, betrayed, whatever they did. But if they're returning to the scene of the crime, they did damage. Okay. So, okay, they hurt you. Okay, you guys didn't understand each other. So, they're returning. Okay. Um, they're returning uh, to the situation uh, right now. And you don't want to deal with it. It's like, I'm not going to deal with this person. Because look, they're running back towards you. Okay, that's that one. They're running. Okay. Interesting. 
And they the eight of swords. Get a seven of pentacles. I make them wait. <laughs> I make them wait before I deal with them. Okay. I'll be patient. I don't want to deal with this. Okay. Um, seven of pentacles is like, we, you know, like you have put a lot of effort in, uh, in, by ignoring. <laughs> How do you put effort in ignoring? You've been ignoring this energy for quite some time. Seven of pentacles. <laughs> it is so I don't want to, Sal. So I don't want to. Okay. I mean, if it's going to grow, it's going to grow. Because that's where the seven of pentacles is. You know, tilting the ground, of course, working hard for it. So it's just like, this is how I want to work this right now, is by ignoring it. Okay. All right, we all deal with how we want to deal with the situation. Oh, this person is paranoid, nine of swords. They trying, and they scared. They are coming back, and they scared. Because you put them in the hold. Please hold, you know. Nine of swords, like, they don't know what's inside your head. They don't know what you're thinking right now, and it's they're puzzled, okay. With the Nine of Swords energy, they're, of course, going to think of the worst. Nine of Swords, they're just going to think of the worst case scenario, okay? Anxiety, stress, uh, you know, no sleep, okay, over the situation. Let's see. Underneath the Seven of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. Five of Cups. They disappointed you, okay? So, why would I want to look at the disappointment, Sal? <laughs> True, I understand that one. If it's disappointing, then I'd rather not look at it. I'd rather look away and never look back. Okay, but you're not going anywhere though. Eight of Swords is there. Five Cups, you're disappointed. Not happy, not fulfilled. Venus disrespected, that's how it is. When Venus gets disrespected, relationship broke. Six of Cups! <laughs> I don't know if they want to come back towards you. <laughs> you're at five, they're at six. They're one step ahead. But you're going to be a gazillion miles away. Okay? <laughs> so, the relationship has, has run its course. Okay? So this person, okay, totally, of course, feeling that, oh, well, but we're destined. We wanna, we're going to be together. And then for you, it's like, I don't even want to think about that. Okay? I've put so much effort over here. And every time I put effort, I'm just disappointed. I work hard for this. I work hard to put this in the relationship or in the connection. And the only thing I get, the only thing I rip, with what I what I planted is um, more disappointed, more disappointment, sorry. But they're coming clean, Mr. Clean with the Six of Cups. They're coming to you with the intention, it's like, but I'm going to give you something that nobody has ever given to it's towards you. The feeling of this kind of connection, the love that you have never seen, the, how do I say this, um, the familiarity, the, uh, this is about feeling at ease. This person makes you feel at ease. Right? Six of Cups, when you get that, you're, you guys are totally, totally confident with each other when you guys are around, okay? And this is what, this is what this person is banking, okay? So they're making bank, relying on the soul, car, the soul card. So they know that you're their soulmate. You guys know that. You guys have this contract. You guys have this wonderful connection. And that's where they're putting all their money, okay? But for you, I already put it all, so I have nothing anymore, okay? The next things I will put is me putting myself out there okay that's the next time that you're gonna do okay so i'm gonna continue this reading um it's may 1 to 15 i'll see you in the webinar gemini we'll see how this um evolve okay just like um, pokemon relationships needs to be at the poke gym okay i'll see you guys again align 27. now i'll show it to you there on your screen you can see it there it says green day not the band <laughs> so if you see here if you read more, you click the read more, it will tell you what is the day about. What are the things that you can and cannot do? Big decisions, especially if you own a business, you're going to school, you have um, some sort of uh, work that you have a deadline. This is very, very powerful for that because it gives you the schedule. Now, it also gives you personal details of the planet and how it is affecting you if you can see here it says upcoming transit you will see everything on a personal level on your chart i already put my chart here so that's why it says there john doe i'm going to be looking at venus for now it's going to give me my own personal reading for venus the first part up there that you are seeing that's for you 
and then it's going to give you all the helpful information as far as the transit for the whole period of time that Venus is going to be in that specific house. All this and more. This is the first part. So I'm just letting you know, it gets more exciting. Make sure you click in the description box, my affiliate link. And together, we can plan ahead.